In this case, we have this computer that when you try to turn it on, it will not turn on. This MacBook Pro is about 2010. So when you give it a running, you will see you will see the question mark here in a, in a little bit, and the computer will not do anything. So in this case, because this computer is old, it, it has only four gigs of RAM. So we bought this. We have eight gigs of RAM here, so we are going to upgrade it. Also, because the hard drive was damaged, we're going to replace it with, with this. So we have, in this case, 500 gigs, Samsung solid state drive. And with that, the computer will be faster. Also, uh, it will be safe, I mean, it will be better if the, if the customer drops something on this computer. For, for, for instance, in this case, it's not very noticeable. But as, as soon as I opened the uh, opened up the, the laptop, I saw that this here it, it, it has received a huge hit, and that is why it's, it's sinking in this size. So you will see the the dip. So I hope it, it can be captured on the <laughs> with the with the camera. But as you can see, the the enter is sinking here in this side as well so also another thing if you put your ear next to the computer you will hear the hard drive that is clicking is doing click 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 that means the the hard drive is is failing also even if that was not the case but let's say that you drop the computer and and you have a, a mechanical hard drive you soon you will notice that the hard drive will start failing and you may lose all your data so as soon as you have some something like that try to back up all the data what i recommend of course is before having any problem like that is is doing a daily backup or weekly backup as often as often as you can so that way if you have some problem with the macbook uh, or with the, your computer you are not going to be sorry about that so in this case we're going to use a Phillips screwdriver we're going to remove the this cover that we have here and is that is very easy and we are going to start re repairing the computer so we're going to leave it a, a little bit so that way you can see the the question mark Okay, I just uh, turn it off and I'm going to show you here as I don't know the camera can capture but also it has some little dents um, on the bottom uh, as well so yep yeah, I think you can see it so the, the big dent no dip was here on the keyboard so in this case it's very easy we grab it, like I mentioned before, the screwdriver. Uh, we have to remove the, the screws. All right, now we remove the, the back cover. In this case, it's very easy. Usually the longer screws goes in this side and the shortest one in the other side. You always use some type of gloves, anti-static gloves, so that way you will not damage the computer. We are going to unplug the the cable, the charger. So in this case, because I went to the customer already, I had unplugged the the battery already. So in this case, we don't have to unplug anything. But this this is the the plug that you have to lift up, and and that's it. So in this case, we have the RAM. So this is very easy. Just pull this little plastic that you have here. You pull it towards this side or push it this way. And this one towards that way. And that's it. So once you do that, you do it once again for the second one. And we should be able to remove the RAM. As, as you can see here, we have two gigs of RAM. In, in each one so we're going to replace this 
with uh, four gigs of RAM each one. Always I recommend you to have one of these. It's very handy for technicians. So like I mentioned before, here we have the, the RAM. Remember we have this we have this notch here over here. So you it, you can put it just in one way. If you try to put it the other way, it will not fit. So that is what you have to do. I hope you can see here you have the notch. We're going to put it like that. And then we push. So we put it push it this way and then we put it down. And we do the same thing with this one. Make, it, make sure that it's firm and then you push it down and that's it. So that is the RAM. So we just uh, have upgraded the, the RAM. Now the next step will be to upgrade the hard drive. So in this case is very easy. We have a, here a few screws. In this case we have two. There you go. We remove the um, support here. And then from this label we pull out and we unplug the hard drive. As you can see, this is the power, this is the data. Here in this case we are going to use uh, this hard drive. Samsung, usually they have very good uh, models, and, I mean it's a very good brand. And we're going to open this up. Here we have the hard drive, so this is the basic hard drive. There are some hard drives that they come with some kind of software to up, uh, clone the, the drive. Or you can use SuperDuper, that is another um, app that you can download. But the computer has to, must be running or you have to use another one. So in this case, because the hard drive that we just removed is, is dead, we can just plug this in and that's it. But before uh, doing that, remember that we have to remove the old pins from the old hard drive and we have to put it in the in the other one. Otherwise, you will not have anything to grab on. So in this case, we are using the iFixit. The model is the T6. And just put it like that. Remove one screw, the other one. Okay, now uh, we have the new hard drive. So as you can see, we have the, the holes here. And that is what we have to use now. Okay, great. Now that we have all the screws here, what we can do is just put it the way it was. Remember, this flex is very uh, fragile. So don't pull it or anything like that. It also, it has just one way to put the connector, make, it, make sure that it will match up. And then this pin that you see here, they have to fit in those two holes that you have over here. And you sit it over there. And then what we have to do is just put this back. All right, now the computer is done. So what we can do in this case, as I'll show you another problem with this computer, as you can see, uh, the, the grill that you see on this side, in this case it was broken. I think it because, like I mentioned before, something fell on this computer very badly. So we're going to do it, leave it just the way it is. We're going to put the screws uh, later. Bes be before I do this, something uh, I almost forgot is the uh, battery. We're going to plug this in again. And then we'll put this back. And then we're going to turn it on. As you can see, now it will turn on without the power, of course. Now we can plug this in. 
and now we are going to try to boot up the computer from internet because remember this computer it doesn't have any operating system or anything like that as you can see it's blinking the exclamation mark now we have this computer uh, starting from internet recovery so by pressing command uh, R or you will you will have that option so now we want to take off the gloves so that way I can make it work after you type the password you should connect nice as you can see he has been connected so now we will have to wait and after that you will see all the options we have to create a partition on the hard drive and then next to everything type everything and it may take a few hours so we will be back in a while okay as you can see now is after five minutes or ten minutes of booting up as you can see we can see the um, apple logo and it will take another five or ten minutes until it finish booting up and then it will give us the wizard so that way we can start installing oh great now everything has finished i'll do a close-up so that way you can see better all right now that you can see this we're going to click here this utility continue we will have to create the partition we select this one as you can see it says uninitiated so we have to erase ssd erase again done okay now we have this so we have 499 with 76 gigs so now we close there and install mac os continue hi sierra now continue almost in everything type the name well, we should be there okay now agree agree again always read the agreement make sure that you're happy with it continue installing I don't know why he showed that sign maybe because I, I press a couple times and uh, that's it, it says 15 minutes I doubt that it's going to be 15 minutes surely it will be more like a couple hours and almost uh, it so you see now he jumped to almost two hours because he has to download all the operating system from internet so this is the best way so that way you have all the latest upgrades and everything because if you have a thumb drive sometimes uh, you're not going to get the, the latest or the latest or the greatest and that's it so we are going to come back in a couple hours or tomorrow okay as you can see it just finished loading just continue and everything check your keyboard wi-fi and everything continue don't jump for nothing we don't have anything to jump for now agree 
now the name of the customer continue if you request sometimes for a password we can put something simple the customer can change it later continue again and almost done so that's it the only thing re remaining will be to put the screws back that that is very easy and the computer should be ready to ro to go there you go we're going to check the specs as you can see a gigs of ram here we have 408 the storage we have the 500 and that's it so we can restart it i hope you have enjoyed this video if you have any question as usual all my information is in the video description and see you next time okay now i'm going to give you this extra bonus so as you can see we have this external hard drive i mean dock where you can plug in the hard drive as you can see this this is the dead hard drive so we plug this in here but like i mentioned before the the customer he doesn't want to retrieve any data he says that it's not worth it he only checks the email and play a little bit with the computer you leave it here you turn it on like you see over here and then you plug the usb now meanwhile is downloading the the updates and then we press command space disk utility and in this case you cannot even see the the hard drive so that is a, a bad sign we're going to unplug it plug it back again let's see if it, this time we'll do something also you have the other type of adapters as you can see with this you don't need the the power but this is just for laptops hard drives if you have a, like a regular desktop a computer hard drive it will not work in this you don't have enough power in the usb to make it work as you can see is still blinking it's not doing anything so this hard drive is officially dead so i hope this video was useful and see you next time